Uh, this integral, uh, well, how do we start? Now, I, well, I'll do this way. This one is equal to sine x dx and 1 plus cosine square x multiplied by cosine x. I simply mean tangent x is sine over cotangent. So they're equal, right? Then I change it, the numerator into the derivative of a cosine. It's a negative. I leave the negative outside. Then this is 1 plus cosine squared times cosine x. So now I change the, the game uh, into cosine. Instead of uh, integrating with respect to x, I'm integrating with respect to cosine. So this is more or less like a 1 over something square times something, which is obviously we can use the partial fractions. So this is equal to integral, right, partial fractions, d cosine x. And uh, this is uh, 1 plus cosine square x. This is cosine square x. Now, I suppose you know how to, how to, how to deal with partial fractions, right? So this is end up with negative cosine x, and this is uh, 1, this one, plus. <clears throat> so I skip the detail, a little detail for the partial fractions. Then this, uh, then this equal to uh, 2, in, uh, one, 1 is a uh, cosine cosine x, d cosine x, right? 1 plus cosine square x. The other one is d cosine x over cosine x. So both of, it, both of them can be very easily done. So this is a 1 half, right? Log 1 plus cosine square x, okay? Okay, this one is equal to log Yeah. There's a negative here, right? There's negative here. Sorry. Negative log uh, negative log cosine x plus c. Then I combine these two to become the log square root one plus cosine x square and uh, Cosine x. Yeah, that is a okay. This is a good example that to practice when you change the you you change the in, integral function uh, uh, by change you know clearly seeing that it has a composite function involved. Okay, thank you.